Hi friends, Jay Sennett. Welcome to another edition of Cooking with Jay. I'd like to say I hope all of you are doing well in these very strange times. <laughs> very strange times. Um, on this edition of the program, I'm going to make um, my Aleppo pepper salmon cakes with a peach chutney with French green beans and some Parmesan garlic um, purple fingerling potatoes. Okay, you see this here. This is the salmon. And what I did, I got a filet, salmon filet, right? Put it in a baking dish, seasoned it with, I put some olive oil over it, and some salt and pepper, right? And cooked it, baked it at about 425, Make the filet about 425 for about 15, 16, 17 minutes, okay? Take it out of the oven, cool it off, put it in the refrigerator just for about 10 minutes, let it cool off, and when the filet comes out, I saved a little bit of the tail end of this filet, because I'll show you what I do. I get a fork, and I just break up the little pieces, or break into little pieces, like that, like so. And when you bake it <clears throat> and put it in a refrigerator, or a freezer in my case, because I want it, I don't have a lot of time to do all this stuff, so I go the time route. Alright? So that's how you see how I get that salmon like that. Now I've also I've actually cut the skin off a of salmon and break it up. Chunk, cut it up, and then pulse it in the food processor, not <laughs> puree or anything like that, just zit, 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 zit. And you can kind of get almost the same effect here if you don't want to, it's, it's not as time consuming, obviously. Okay, so what, now I want to add one egg, okay? This is just one filet, salmon filet. It's a decent size though. I'm going to get some panko breadcrumbs, some Japanese breadcrumbs, maybe, in this case, about a quarter of a cup, a little bit more, almost half a cup. I have some scallions here, diced up some finely diced scallions. Okay, some finely diced up scallions. And uh, about a mm, tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce, okay. Um, I have about two tablespoons of mayo some mayonnaise here, which will act pretty much as a binder along with the egg, okay? Um, now I have some garlic powder and some onion powder, all right? About a quarter teaspoon each. And here I have about a tablespoon, a small tablespoon of some Dijon mustard, okay? Okay, use on mustard. Now we're going to add some of this Aleppo, beautiful Aleppo pepper. Smoky, not a lot of heat in it, but just enough to give it some of that good flavor. All right, I'm going to mix all this around. Make sure you mix the egg in there well. Look at that, it's beautiful, isn't it? Wow. Scallions, the mustard, the mayo, and that Aleppo pepper, which will give it a smoky quality, you know. Uh, can you substitute paprika? I guess smoked paprika. Won't be the same, though. This plate. out and one way you can figure this out you can get a little ice cream scoop <laughs> with the uh, whatever that gadget is inside there that's that gets the ice cream out of the scoop okay about yay size like that I'm going to turn on my saucepan get it heat 
heat it up. I have some butter and some olive oil in the saucepan over there. And while these salmon cakes are cooking, I'm going to tell you how I made this peach chutney. I was in a grocery store and I saw these peaches. I was like, wow, it's an odd time of the year for some peaches. Now, if you see this show again as a rerun, <laughs> I'm recording this show in January of 2022. Okay, so yes, it's not peach season, but I saw these beautiful peaches in the grocery store. Okay. Wow, those salmon cakes look so good. And we have the panko breadcrumbs in here. All right, let's make this one maybe a little bigger. So go down the fork out of there. Okay, we get four decent size salmon cakes. It's a messy venture, folks, but in the end, it's all worth it. Okay? All right. It's our last cake right there. The pot is heating up. I'm going to wipe off my hands. Okay. Clean off my board a little bit. Got to keep the board clean. Got to keep the board clean. One more swipe here. Nice. Okay. So, I'm going to get my dishes off of here in a little while. But what we're going to do, we're going to go over to the stove. Okay, so we can put these, uh, put these crab cakes the cooking. Crab cakes, salmon cakes, excuse me. I'm so used to saying crab cakes. All right, let's go over to the stove and put these in the pan. Again, I have some butter in here and some olive oil okay it's one now I'm going to tell you something about these salmon cakes keep in mind that they are already cooked because I remember I told you I took the filet put some olive oil rubbed it with olive oil seasoned it with salt and pepper baked it at about 425 for about 15 minutes. Okay, so the salmon is pretty much done. So this part here, you don't want to overcook it. Okay, so just a couple of minutes on each side. Um, so we get some texture on the outside and get those flavors to settle in a little bit. And it's going to be, they're going to be beautiful. Now, over here, I made my peach. Chutney. Oh, look at that. I found these peaches. <laughs> now, how I make my chutney, everything in the kitchen goes in my chutneys. But I took some, some peaches, diced up some peaches, took the skin off, right? Add some red onion, finely mince up some red onion, uh, some ginger, some fresh ginger, some, some garlic, minced up some garlic, a couple of cloves of garlic, put some lime juice in there. Uh, some brown sugar, brown sugar. Uh, keep in mind, this shows about the salmon cakes, okay? <laughs> the chutney. Um, put a little bit of uh, apple cider vinegar in there, give it some, so it's a sweet, tangy, sweet, tart, tangy kind of flavor. Um, uh, or I said red onions, uh, I put some red pepper flakes in there, and give it a little bit of heat. Um, and some mustard seeds, yes, some mustard seeds. Okay, now I'm gonna flip these over. Ooh. Okay. That's that butter making them brown like that. But it's going to give us some extra flavor as well. Um, Turn that down a little bit. These are almost done. We'll get a couple of plates here. Mm. Oh! Here I have, I'm not going to see these, these purple fingerling potatoes, my Parmesan garlic 
fingerling potatoes. Some butter in there. Oh. Mm. The salmon cakes are almost done. Almost. And over here I have my French green beans. Just steamed them. Then you can put some salt and pepper on them. Just, I just like them fresh. You know, just steamed them up a little bit, like so. They're ready to go. All right. I'm turn this fire off with a salmon. Okay. We're going to plate. fingerling potatoes. I thought about making mashed, but we'll leave it at that. Put these green beans up here. Oh. Now, last but not least, clean up my plate a bit. We're going to add this chutney. I'm going to get these Where's my spoon for the chutney? Underneath here. Okay. And we're just simply going to drizzle this chutney over these salmon cakes, like so. Oh, man. Ooh, a little bit more. Won't hurt it. Won't hurt it. Go ahead and set it over here. Last but not least, I'm going to add some garnish, some fresh parsley. pepper salmon cakes with Parmesan garlic butter fingerling purple potatoes and some French green beans. Mm. Just pure deliciousness. No salt, no pepper, just pure vegetation. Yeah, mm. delicious. That's what's happening on this edition of Cooking with Jay. My Aleppo pepper, salmon cakes with my peach chutney, fingerling purple potatoes, Parmesan garlic purple potatoes, and some French green beans. I'm Jay Sinnott. If you have any questions, comments about the show, you can always email me to j.sinnott at whrv.org. J-A-E dot S-I-N-N-E-T-T -T at whrv.org. And I still hear these beauties cooking. I'm going to get these cakes out of the pan. Okay, good. Now I can relax. <laughs> Be safe, friends. Until the next edition of Cooking with Jay, we'll see you then. Sunday evenings starting at 6 on the WHO Public Media Facebook page. Be safe. Peace to you, friends.